Welcome! In this video I'm going to be taking a look at this Domifan P5 dual screen laptop screen extender. So this was provided to me by the distributor, but they're not compensating me for this video and they're not reviewing it before I post it. If you find this video helpful and you want to purchase one of these, I'll put a link to it in the description. And if you use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. So this works in landscape mode, portrait mode. Here are the specs. Screen size is 15.6. That's measured diagonally. Has an IPS panel. Brightness is 300 candela per meter squared. It's 60 hertz. Resolution is 1080p, and this uses USB-C for connections. So let's get this open. So that's some foam here to protect it. Here we have, looks like a quick start guide and a manual. Let's take a look at these. So this is the packing list. We have the monitor. We have USB-A to USB-C, USB-C to USB-C, and HDMI to USB-C. Comes with a stand, box and manual, has speaker, has the ports, it has a headphone port, multifunction button, LED ambient light, this talks about using the menu. It says press and hold for two seconds to return, press and hold for three seconds to shut down. So you toggle that right for the volume adjustment and left for the backlight adjustment. So you start off toggling that way and then you can toggle it back and forth to adjust those. This talks about connecting it to a computer. So this is going to use USB-C with DisplayPort and it can also use HDMI. And here's the user guide. Let's see if this has more in it. Okay, product info, a lot of the same things there. We have the specs. This talks more about connecting it up. Looks like kind of the same stuff here. Well, this talks about connecting up the audio and display mode on Windows and Mac. So let's pull this out. So we have it here. This has this strap around it to keep it closed. So I can pull that off. Oh, this is cool. It has a little window here so you can see inside. It's neat. Here we have the stand. So this pivots here. And we have a rubber foot here. And here are the different cables. So there's a label on here. It says for product with USB-C with DP. This one says please connect this port to our product. So you connect this side to the monitor and this side to the other thing you're plugging into. This cable here, USB-A to USB-C, would just be used for power. So let's open this up. Pull this off here. So the stand is going to slide in here. It's going to clip in. Let's see if that comes out. Yep. And that can rotate. And then bend open. So that will fit like that. So I'll bend this open. Now this is going to expand, so this will flip out here, and this will go around to your laptop screen. So it looks like this will also come apart. So we can take that out, and this can stand on its own. And then we can also tilt this up if we want portrait mode. So that makes for a very small monitor. I like how easy that is to detach. So I'll put that back together. And I'm going to come around the back here and let's get some cables. So let's connect this up to the USB-C with DP here. And this is where we have the headphones and the power. So this will press in. Might be hard to see this toggle switch and then this can toggle back and forth. So now that I have that hooked up, I'll open it back up. And I'll get my laptop here. So this is a MacBook Pro with an M4 processor. So I'm going to pull that out on the left side. I'll put this on the left side of the screen and let it kind of clamp on the right. And then I'll put this side down. There we go. I'll turn my light off here so we don't have the glare. So there's some film on this. I'll take that off. And now I'll plug this into the USB-C of the laptop. Okay, so that's plugged in. I'll power it on. Okay, I had to do some fiddling there. I plugged it into C3. I needed to plug it into C1 or C2. Now you can see we have both monitors up. So on my Mac here, I can drag between the two. And you can see when I put it in the middle, it cuts off. So let's look at some of the settings on the Mac. Now Windows will have some similar settings. So if I go here to Arrange, I can see my two monitors. So this is my laptop monitor. This is the external monitor. So I can drag this around if it's on a different side. 
it defaulted to the right side and that's where I want it, so I'll leave it there. Now we can select these two monitors so we can have built-in display or I can select P5. And if I click on that, it will let me change the settings on it. So I can change the resolution here. It defaults to 1080p, but I could change that to a lower resolution if I wanted. I can also change things like the color profile, refresh rate, and here's the rotation. So if I had this in portrait mode, I could change that here. So right now, each screen is its own space. So when I try and drag something to the middle, it will choose one or the other. If I want to have it span both, I want to go into my desktop and dock setting, and I'll scroll down to mission control, and it says displays have separate spaces, and I want to turn that off. So now I can put this in the middle and it will stay in the middle. That did not save, let me look at this. I may need to log out and log back in for that to take effect. Let me try that. Yes, and it says requires log out. I should have read that more clearly. So I'm going to log out and I'll log back in. Okay, so I'm back. So I can take this now and span it across both monitors. So I can double click here. I have it full on one screen. And here I can drag it across. So this is LibreOffice and it goes up to column AC. So the laptop is about halfway on the brightness. Let's see what this one is at. So I don't know off the top of my head which way is brightness and which way is sound. So I'm going to find that toggle and I'll just go to the right and that is the volume. Now if I go to the left it will turn the volume down. I'm going to wait for this to go off the screen and then I'll press it to the left. Okay, so now I'll press it to the left. And here we have brightness. So we're at 80. And this is at 100. Now the higher it is, the faster it's going to drain the battery in your laptop. So I'll turn this down now. Let's look at some of the menu settings. So I'll press in on this. We have settings in the bottom right here. And these are settings like you'd find on any monitor. We have brightness, contrast, backlight, color temp, on-screen display, aspect ratio, power, auto power down, HDR mode. Blue light, volume, mute. So this is the same as any monitor in that aspect. Let's take a look at getting sound. So I'll go back into my system settings. I'll go to my sound setting and I'm at sound output. It may not be easy to see on this video, but that's why I'm telling you what I'm doing here. So on output, I have a number of different options. One says P5 display port. So if I click that, it's going to send the audio here. So I'll try and play something through that. So here I have a train and the audio is going through here. Now the audio on here is not as loud as on my laptop. So depending on what you're doing, you may or may want to use the monitor speakers, but they are there if you want them. So I don't know if that's loud enough to even come through here, but let's just throw the video up there. The full screen. So here we can see the video. And that's a 1080p display, so that looks really nice and sharp. Let's try this in portrait mode. So I'm going to pull this off. I'll turn this down. I want to get it straight. And I'll set it up like this. Now the way I have the cord on here, it's facing up. So I'll actually undo that and tilt it down. So this is going to be sideways. I'll go into my display control panel. I'll click on the P5 display. I'll say rotate, I think it's 90 degrees. Let's try that. That seemed to work. So I had the spreadsheet over here. I'll double click on it. Okay, it actually went back to the other monitor. Let's get it over here. There we go. So now it's in portrait mode here. So maybe you're coding or something or doing desktop publishing and you want a display to preview things in portrait mode. This is a way you can do that. And this is not tethered to the laptop except for with the cord. It doesn't have the mount on it. So I'm going to switch that back. Now this can be used with other things besides a laptop. So I'm going to unplug it here. Here I have an iPad Pro, it has USB-C on it. So I can plug into that. And now we have the monitor up. I'm going to hit the three dots in the top and I'll say move to display. It looks like I can't hit play though, so I'll have to play it. And then I'll say move to display. So now we're displaying it over here. Let's do full screen. Now where I think this would come in handy is if you had a keyboard and mouse. That way you can control it when it's on the external display because this is not a touch screen. But here you can see we can use this with an external monitor. 
So I'm just touching the icon for like YouTube on here and it's bringing it back to this display. So you could use this for things like a Switch, gaming console. You just need to use that HDMI cable. Now HDMI is not going to carry power. So when you use that, you'll also want to use USB-A to USB-C to connect it up to power. When we're done using this, I'll connect it back up. I can fold it closed, unplug the cable. That will fold down. I can slide this out, open it, and then let it close on itself to kind of lock it in that position. So that keeps it from coming open. So now you can put this in your laptop bag or other bag to carry around. And it's very compact, very thin. So that's the Dami Fan P5 dual screen laptop screen extender. A lot of people use dual screens with their desktop computers. With the device like this, you can have dual screens on the go. So if you work out of hotel rooms, coffee shops, and other places and you miss having that second monitor, this is a great way to add one. I really like the versatility of this. You can attach this to the back of your laptop so you have kind of a seamless view, but you can also detach it if you want it separate. So if you're doing a sales presentation, you might actually have this facing your clients while you have it mirrored on your laptop screen, or you can give presentations with it. And then also this will do that portrait mode so you can have it straight up. And this is relatively lightweight, so you could potentially design some kind of mount for this if you wanted to use it in a kiosk or something. It's a really nice little screen, super narrow, and energy efficient to run too. So that's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.